Induk perusahaan Facebook, Meta, memutuskan PHK 11.000 karyawan atau sekitar 13 persen total jumlah karyawannya. Look, the days of massive growth for for Meta's business are over. Um, it is facing serious competition for user attention. It's facing more competition than ever for advertiser dollars. And Zuckerberg's two big bets, one being the metaverse, the other being its short form video service reels, have not paid off. Um, a year into Facebook's rebrand into Meta, Metaverse is still a murky and ill-defined concept, and there is little evidence to show that consumers are interested in it. PHK masal ini adalah yang pertama dalam sejarah Facebook dan Meta yang bersama perusahaan teknologi lainnya mengalami lonjakan pemasukan selama pandemi sebelum akhirnya ikut terhimpit lonjakan laju inflasi dan tekanan makroekonomi lainnya. Facebook was spending like 1980s rock stars. And now growth has really come off significantly. The metaverse strategy continues to be an uphill battle. And in this macro environment, they're seeing a significant challenge from social media growth. And I think that fundamentally has really been the perfect storm for Zuckerberg and Facebook. PHK masal di Mera terjadi tak lama setelah Twitter di bawah pimpinan baru Elon Musk memphk separuh dari 7.500 karyawannya. So many of the problems um, that Twitter is facing right now are self-inflicted. Even before the takeover by Musk, however, um, Twitter was taking a beating from the economy and advertisers were already rethinking their commitment to the platform. Twitter is not an essential player in most companies' media plans, so it's a pretty quick and painless decision for them to pull ads from the platform. Many of them, of course, are deciding not to advertise on Twitter or at least to pause their advertising on Twitter due to brand safety concerns, as well as a lack of trust. Trust, um, in a Musk-owned Twitter. Di luar media sosial, Microsoft juga mengumumkan PHK sekitar 1.000 karyawan setelah pemasukan raksasa teknologi ini melambat pada kuartal terakhir. I think this is the beginning of what's going to be much broader layoffs across Silicon Valley and tech. Some darker days ahead as this recession's on the doorstep. Yeah, I think this is dark storm clouds finally hitting tech. It just shows the recession. It's not Teflon like in terms of big tech. They're going to see the challenge and that's what you're seeing play out today. Taksi online Lyft juga mengumumkan pengurangan karyawannya sebesar 13%. Semakin banyak perusahaan teknologi lainnya juga mengumumkan PHK atau setidaknya penghentian sementara pembukaan lowongan untuk karyawan baru. Dari Washington DC, saya Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.